Hi, I'm Rainer Meyer for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Goop. Android 11 Beta 2 is now available for you to try. This release takes us to the platform stability milestone, which means that Android 11's APIs and behaviors are now finalized. For developers, it's time to get started on our final compatibility updates and publishing them in time for the official release later in Q3. To learn how to get Beta 2, check out the blog post linked in the description below. We're pleased to announce the launch of the official Google Pay plugin for Magento 2. The Google Pay plugin can help increase conversions by enabling a simpler and more secure checkout experience in your Magento website. When you integrate with Google Pay, your customers can complete their purchases quickly using the payment methods they've securely saved to their Google accounts. Find out more about Google Pay and the Google Pay plugin for Magento in the blog post below. Google's goal for Flutter has always been to provide a portable toolkit for building beautiful UIs that run at native speeds no matter which platform you target, so we're happy to jointly announce the availability of the Linux Alpha for Flutter alongside Canonical, the publisher of Ubuntu, the world's most popular desktop Linux distribution. With this Alpha release, Linux developers get Flutter support for their operating system of choice. Learn how to install the Flutter SDK by Snap, build and test your desktop app on Linux using Visual Studio Code or Android Studio, and deploy your app to the Snap Store, along with all the latest details on the desktop page on flutter.dev. This week, we're welcoming you to Google Cloud Next 20 on air, Google Cloud's first digital event series that gives our community an opportunity to learn from top industry leaders and get inspired by our latest cloud innovations. Throughout the next nine weeks, we'll be exploring in detail all the ways we're building on our announcements with an aim towards supporting you no matter where you are on your cloud journey. Join us for Next On Air from the link below. One of the first big announcements of Next 20 is the introduction of BigQuery Omni, a flexible multi-cloud analytics solution that lets you cost-effectively access and securely analyze data across Google Cloud, AWS, and soon Azure, all without leaving the familiar BigQuery user interface. And because BigQuery Omni is powered by Anthos, you'll be able to query data without having to manage the underlying infrastructure. Check out the blog post for more details. The Dart team has launched a brand new pub.dev site. It features new scoring metrics to give you a better understanding of potential useful packages and to provide package publishers with more actionable feedback on how to improve package quality. Try out the new pub.dev browse and search experience today and use the new scoring dimensions and pub points report. And if you're a package developer, we encourage you to view the pub points for your packages, looking for opportunities to improve them. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm Rodemeyer for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.